Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on analysis of fluid flow and mixing in Tundis. So, we have anyway uh, uh, talked about the fluid flow analysis and how uh, these uh, fluid flow uh, you know parameters uh, it, I mean uh, using that fluid flow uh, we calculate the mixing parameters or the uh, different Tundis volumes. Uh, you know, which is indicative of the mix, mixing capability of Tundis, you know, how much uh, there will be the thorough mixing inside and uh, you know, what are the uh, dead regions, how the dead volume uh, zone is calculated, all that is uh, we, we will be uh, discussing in this lecture. So, uh, as we discussed that we will be talking about a particular uh, geometry. So, this is uh, the uh, geometry of a uh, six strand billet caster tundis. This is the work which uh, was done earlier by me. So, when it is reported, uh, you know, so what we I wish to show that how the uh, you know, how with the help of a uh, particular problem you can uh, solve, uh, solve uh, you know, you can show that how the analysis is to be carried out and how you understand these uh, the computation of different parameters inside the. Uh, tundis. So, this is a typical geometry again it is a 6 strand billet caster tundis and as you see that you will have the, uh, the 3 outlets uh, 3 to 1. So, you will have uh, in this case we are taking outlet 1 as the remotest 1 and 2 and 3 and this is your symmetry plane it means there will be uh, a plane which is going further. Uh, in this direction and uh, you this is the impact uh, you know this is the uh, this is the uh, you know region through which the outlet is uh, you know um, uh, thoroughly uh, uh, through that whole uh, you know zone. So, anyway this is a zone only for that consideration that it is uh, showing the outlet. Then uh, its uh, dimension of the tundis is also shown as you see the height is given and uh, the other dimensions are uh, you know 2.95 meter of length or so. So, uh, then uh, as usual we again define the uh, you know grids in the different uh, zones and you can have the gridded structure and further uh, you can also use the uh, flow modifiers. So, we have used the flow modifier as the advanced pouring box. Uh, in this case, uh, we also used uh, the uh, you know shroud which is uh, there. So, that can be used or that cannot be. So, many a times we use this shroud uh, uh, to indicate that the metal will uh, you know be uh, uh, not uh, exposed to atmosphere and the oxidation kind of problem will not be uh, there in sight. Uh, now, uh, as you see uh, this, so once you do the gridding then you can see that how the gridded structure looks like. Then after that as you see that you have to uh, uh, solve these equations uh, in this case we are not solving the temperature we are solving only the continuity momentum turbulent kinetic energy and rate of dissipation. Apart from that uh, we are also solving the concentration equation. So, uh, this is the um, equation for that concentration, uh, it is concentration of the tracer. So, what we do uh, when we do the uh, these analysis, uh, there are two types of uh, you know uh, analysis which is being carried out and that is uh, one is pulse input and another is step input that is what uh, I think we have uh, talked about it earlier in that stimulus response technique. So, uh, in this case uh, again uh, we are going to have uh, uh, the discussion on that. So, basically what we do that when we have a 
a steady state uh, velocity field set as we have seen in our previous lecture that you are going to solve you have the uh, you know geometry defined you are going to define the uh, you know material properties uh, you are going to uh, define the boundary conditions at the inlet at the out uh, outlets at the walls and all that then after that uh, you are uh, going to solve the equation and uh, for that uh, you will have these uh, you know uh, four you know categories will be there first so first you have to solve it and uh, you will be getting a velocity field now after that uh, you are going to have the uh, you know tracer concentration solution for the uh, concentration of the tracer now, now what we do in this case is uh, to know that uh, which of the then this is how much you know uh, good for the mixing and how the flow behavior is there uh, you know how the uh, concentration is uh, uh, changing at the outlets when the uh, something which is uh, uh, coming through the inlet. So, at what time it is going to start from the outlet. So, that also shows earlier we have seen that it comes through the inlet outlet which is closer to the inlet at a lesser time. So, uh, so that is certainly uh, you know that does not indicate a very good mixing capability because it must go into the whole Tundis uh, domain and then it should come ideally it should take the ideal uh, theoretical residence time. So, residence time is nothing but volume upon the volumetric flow rate. So, once you know the volume of the tundis and if you know the volumetric flow rate. So, in that case uh, the ideal uh, volumetric you know mean residence time is that uh, um, uh, time which is uh, should be spent by the uh, fluid particle which will indicate ideal mixing will be uh, ratio of volume to volumetric flow rate and uh, that uh, has to be computed. Now, in this case, uh, uh, so you are first solving that and uh, uh, once you solve that and, and after that you are uh, again solving for uh, in the unsteady manner. So, in the case of unsteady uh, you know analysis, what we do is uh, that uh, we have to uh, uh, you know uh, uh, put the tracer uh, which will be a some something like a die. So, that is uh, you know normally we do the experimental analysis also in this case. So, what we do we have a colored die which is uh, you know uh, injected at the uh, turn disc. So, if suppose you have uh, the uh, inlet here. So, you give uh, these uh, colored die uh, you know we are uh, putting it uh, for uh, say 10 seconds uh, you know and then uh, or, or even for um, or less and then uh, so uh, because it should not alter the uh, flow field inside the tundis also. So, we are putting also it in, in the uh, you know same velocity. So, it will uh, go through that and then it uh, is stopped and otherwise the flow continue after that the flow continues. So, the die will come and then it will go inside and it will coming out. Now, we have to monitor uh, the this concentration of the die because whatever quantity has uh, come uh, inside the uh, turn disc it has to go out and uh, when its first appearance is there at which outlet. So, that is uh, indicative of the you know plug component. Similarly, uh, if something is taking more time more than uh, you know uh, 2 or 3 or 4 times the uh, the mean uh, theoretical mean resistance time then we call it as the dead component. So, if it goes into certain zone it gets trapped and it takes large amount of time to come out then it is a dead component. So, that we will discuss uh, we will see. So, um, so, what is shown is that uh, we get the theoretical mean resistance time calculation uh, uh, by volume by of turn disc to volumetric flow rate. Uh, now, uh, we have to calculate the actual mean resistance time and normally when you have only one outlet. So, it will be summation of C i and T i uh, divided by summation of C i that C i is the 
uh, concentration which is monitored at the um, uh, outlet normally it is a dimensionless concentration, uh, concentration divided by you know, what concentration you have put in. So, that way uh, you know amount of tracer which you have put in. So, basically accordingly you get the dimensionless concentration that is uh, um, uh, there and uh, so we plot a graph uh, between the dimensionless concentration and time and uh, you know or we if we plot the uh, graph between uh, the concentration and time. So, from that uh, graph basically you can also have the calculation of the actual mean resistance time. So, you get a file normally you have to uh, get a file which will talk about the uh, you know these concentration which are coming out through the particular outlet with respect to time. So, you will have uh, uh, you know the the the, uh, the uh, you know with respect to time you will have the concentration. So, you have time 1 second, 2 second, 3 second or so and you will have the concentration values which will be coming here and that will be normally initially increasing and then it will be decreasing. Now, uh, because uh, when it has uh, come and it will start entering that time it will be decreasing, but then slowly once it goes inside the whole domain then slowly it has to decrease because you have only injected only a very uh, fixed amount of uh, uh, tracer inside the uh, you know uh, inside the tundis. So, uh, so accordingly you, you see that you get the actual mean resistance time that will be uh, C average I T I C average is taken because if you have in the outlet you have uh, you know more number of cells are there. So, it will uh, be averaging those uh, you know concentration values in the all the uh, elements uh, in the uh, outlet uh, you know domain. Then uh, we calculate these different parameters like uh, now from these uh, uh, concentration and time graph a typical concentration uh, curve will uh, look like uh, this. So, it, it will go like that. So, you will have concentration and time this is dimensionless concentration and this delay basically initially because there, there will be when you are uh, this is at t equal to 0. So, at t equal to 0 when uh, the uh, tracer has entered it will say take some time to appear through the uh, outlet. So, that uh, that time uh, you know that is known as the uh, you know uh, uh, the time you know that from that is indicative of the uh, you know uh, plug volume. So, that is your uh, breakthrough time and that is T p. So, that is first appearance of tracer at the exits. So, uh, you know and uh, you know we can get these uh, uh, different uh, uh, you know uh, uh, fractions. So, once you get the T p uh, where the first appearance of tracer is recorded from there uh, you know you can get uh, the uh, uh, plug volume. Uh, uh, so, that is uh, this is V p uh, not V d. So, basically this is this will be V p. Uh, so, uh, V p by V will be uh, T p by tau. Now, tau you know that this is theoretical mean resistance time. Now, what we do is that uh, once you have the theoretical mean resistance time uh, defined and once you calculate the actual mean resistance time. So, uh, the dead volume will be computed as 1 minus T r by uh, tau. So, basically uh, we calculate that as the dead regions because uh, any uh, you know fluid particles is taking more time than the mean resonance time they are said to be uh, the uh, dead regions you know and that is indicative of those zones uh, which are not effectively being uh, you know they are not in the indicating the effective utilization of the whole volume of the uh, tundis. So, once you get these uh, dead volume and the plug volume then the um, you know difference uh, you of, I mean some of these values and then you take uh, 1 minus that value that will be talking about the uh, fraction of the uh, mixed volume. So, uh, you have three kind of uh, generally uh, volume component inside the uh, tundis 
you have uh, plug volume, dead volume and mixed volume. So, plug volume uh, will be uh, that volume as we have already discussed that uh, it will go without interfering with other things. So, it will be go quietly and uh, poison flow there will be quiet flow uh, and uh, then uh, uh, you have the uh, dead volume. So, dead volume as you see that uh, in, in the case of dead volume uh, you have um, uh, that indicates that this is uh, actually uh, it should be minimum. So, if it is uh, minimum in that case your mixed volume will be uh, higher. So, that indicates the uh, mixing uh, you know uh, capability of the turnus inside. So, because that is required to have a homogeneous uh, temperature inside the turnus and also uh, you know uh, the uh, proper uh, you know uh, if uh, uh, something is uh, you know uh, coming suppose through the tundis you know if there will be no uh, you know uh, mixing or, or uh, you know tendency what happens that if some uh, some inclusion comes inside and if they directly go by short circuiting process towards the outlet so it will go to the mold now in this case if you are trying to uh, have a loop inside the tundis there will be a chance that this inclusion will be having the tendency to float up. So, that is also another way of uh, another way which, which we in which we can see that how you can increase uh, you know the productivity of the uh, tundis. So, uh, coming to the uh, results, so if you first see the velocity vectors as we had seen earlier. So, you have a um, you know the outlet uh, plane and on this if you uh, if you see the velocity vectors. So, what you see that uh, on this outlet which is near to the inlet uh, your uh, uh, velocity is uh, quite high it will come and uh, then uh, uh, it has also the tendency to go up and then it is uh, moving like this. So, this is uh, you know through all the outlets at uh, now in this case we have also changed the position. So, that is why we have 2 and 3. So, position will be you know, 1 as we had seen earlier that uh, position 1, 2 and 3 can be seen earlier if you see the results. Uh, so, in, in that case it will be shown here uh, this is uh, position 1 is close to the wall 2 is uh, in, in uh, away from the wall and 3 is near the inlet plane itself. So, that way you have these 3 positions just to show you. Now, what you see that in position 1 uh, or this, this which is close to the wall what you see it is going towards the wall uh, in the top and then it is moving from there. As we move uh, away from the wall little bit to position 2 then what you see that you will you see a type of uh, you know loops also is shown and uh, uh, you know it is very evident that you have larger velocities in this zone which is closer to the inlet and this is uh, near the inlet plane. So, as you see further the velocity near the inlet is quite high it is becoming closer to the inlet plane uh, you know along the length direction. So, you see that there will be changes in these velocity vectors this you can uh, you know draw. Now, once you draw you do the you know uh, transient analysis you are uh, having the tracer concentration for some time going through the inlet and then you stop it after the uh, after some time. In that case you are uh, getting the concentration of uh, concentration variation with time at uh, position 1. Now, position 1 is uh, you know as you see. Uh, this is near to the uh, you know inlet. So, uh, near to the um, this wall this side. So, what you see that uh, now you can see this is a called so called a C curve. So, this is uh, you know concentration with time. So, as uh, it is known as a C curve. Now, what you see that this is uh, you know uh, out 1 out 1 is uh, away from the uh, inlet and out 3 is close to the inlet. So, out 3 close to the inlet what you see 
there is a large increase in the dimensionless concentration peak and then immediately. So, it is at no time you see these values and then it has a sharp decrease and then it is uh, slowly decreasing and moving towards uh, you know these uh, as we move towards the time. Now, the thing is that uh, you know uh, we take up to two times of dimensionless time and we do the analysis. So, what we see that this larger uh, you know peak means uh, that there is a short circuiting being uh, taken place. Uh, the whatever is coming through the inlet it is in no time it is just reaching most of the part most of uh, you know it is just going through the outlet. Uh, so, that is showing shown by a very large peak in that uh, concentration value. Similarly, as we uh, see for the second outlet. So, what happens that uh, the, uh, the uh, fluid will be entering striking at the wall uh, bottom and then it will move. So, it will be some passing will be through the uh, near outlet and then some will move. So, uh, so, so, from here you can see some lag is there from here it is at 0 time it is increasing and, and, and here it is maximum. Now, here it is delayed because it is uh, farther uh, somewhat farther from the, uh, the outlet which is closer to near. Uh, now, in this case uh, it starts little late and you see that your uh, peak also is somewhat uh, you know considerably at a very smaller value. This is indicative of the uh, you know some of uh, some amount of the plug volume and uh, in this case as you see you might uh, recall that if you uh, talk about a pure uh, you know uh, mixed flow the pure mixed flow will be uh, like this and the plug will be like this so as you see here do you see uh, you know in this case like this so basically you have this is pl the plug component and from here you go for the uh, mixed components is this so uh, you know as the uh, peak will be increasing as the, there will be higher and higher peak values it is indicative of the poor mixing capability of the tundis and large num large short circuiting is being taken place and your uh, dead volumes in that case will be uh, likely to be higher uh, because the active metal which is coming from the tundis it is not able to move with higher velocity towards the uh, remote uh, places inside the tundis. So, you can see that uh, you will have uh, a large peak uh, here uh, and for uh, uh, you know outlet 2 it is smaller than outlet 3 it has taken a large delay. So, and then you what you see is that it uh, quite a good mixing characteristic is being shown slowly it is coming down. So, uh, you know so that is indicative of now uh, because of this uh, uh, you will have uh, the different value of the mean resonance time for the uh, you know three outlets uh, but we take the average of them. So, if you change the outlet position uh, somewhat away from the um, you know wall in that case that is how you see that this uh, the earlier peak which was uh, 8 because it was in the close to the wall once you have taken away from the wall it has come down to close to 6. So, and then your this is your 6 uh, you know C curve for the uh, other two outlets which uh, looks like this. So, if, if you have far further changing towards the inlet uh, plane you see that it is even uh, smaller and then that is how. So, you find the value of the mean resonance time. Uh, in these cases and you just see that how much because uh, 1 minus uh, mean residence time uh, actual divided by mean residence, residence, mean residence time theoretical will give you the dead volume region which should be minimum uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, if you go to find the variation of the ratio of mixed to dead volume. Now, uh, after this uh, what we do is uh, that uh, uh, we calculate the uh, you know mixed vo dead volume. So, that will be 1 minus uh, 
uh, actual mean residence time divided by theoretical mean residence time, then you also calculate the uh, plug volume. So, that will be indicative of the, the breakthrough time. So, when you have the uh, first appearance of tracer which is uh, being appearing and then accordingly uh, you will have the calculation of uh, the mixed volume also. So, once you know the V m and V p you get the mixed volume and uh, you uh, for a uh, for representing terms of fraction we can have V m by V d, you can have V p by V d, I mean V, p, v m by V in fact, uh, uh, we calculate as uh, V m by V d is uh, one of the parameter uh, you know which uh, uh, tells that uh, we try to increase V m and we try to reduce V d. So, that will be uh, representing a larger amount of uh, uh, you know uh, mixing inside the condition. It is more desirable feature in that case. So, uh, you will have V m upon V d and V p upon V d also we can plot and we try to increase this value of V m by V t. And in this case, we have uh, tried to show that how there will be variation in the case of uh, 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 you know V m and V d and how their ratio is going to you know uh, change. So, uh, larger value of V m to V d uh, is, uh, is largely desirable uh, for a turn days because it will be indicative of the larger uh, you know uh, mixed zone and the uh, smaller you know dead zone inside the uh, tundis. So, uh, you have a variation of risk. Um, so, as you see that once you uh, change the out first outlet position is as 150, second is at about 200 and third is about 350 or so 300. So, in, in that case what you see is that intermediate position you get this value as the maximum. Similarly, you have mean residence time also what you see that is the maximum. So, uh, that is uh, you know, uh, so what we saw that uh, at position 2 you can have the maximum value of the uh, mixing parameter calculation. So, uh, to have uh, you know uh, better uh, uh, characteristics in terms of mixed to dead volume. Uh, um, by altering the flow behavior as we had discussed in our last uh, lecture that we use certain type of uh, um, uh, you know flow modifiers and in this case we have used the advanced pouring box as we had this shown. And what is shown is that uh, um, if you use a advanced pouring box of a height of 90 mm, in that case it was uh, reported that uh, uh, you know you see now when you use the advanced pouring box and you see out uh, 3 is uh, the one which is close to the inlet. Now, in that earlier case it had gone close to 6, but it has now come down to close to uh, 3 or so not even less than 3. It indicates that when you uh, pour uh, you put uh, a barrier before the um, uh, near outlet before the out 3 in this case. Then the fluid goes uh, and it will go into the um, other part of the turn is fast. And what you see that you also see a breakthrough time increased. In the earlier case it has started from here, but in this case you start from here and uh, there is also delay on this and as well as on this. Uh, so, it means the first appearance of the tracer is delayed. So, that uh, tells you uh, the plug volume also and the lower peak uh, will be indicative of the larger uh, you know smaller dead volume and ultimately you get uh, larger uh, mixing parameters mixed to dead volume and mean residence time. So, then uh, even you can change the height of the APB. So, that was also changed and as you see that once you change the height uh, it was for somewhat increased again this value and uh, further increased it will uh, give you larger value. But then the value of the uh, mean residence time and we mix, mix to dead volume will be uh, more indicative of what is the uh, mixing parameter. So, that can be computed and you can also see the change in the uh, velocity field. So, when you use the uh, advanced pouring box, so you can see that you will have uh, the uh, more 
you know velocity moving towards the upper side and then it is moving you will have some uh, recirculation also it tells that in the homogenization and mixing also of the uh, of the fluids uh, so that is a good indication and it shows that your um, uh, mixing is uh, uh, improved in, in in this case so that is uh, shown with these uh, you know uh, three types of the uh, heights and if you look at the uh, variation of the ratio of mixed to dead volume what is shown is that uh, at the uh, uh, middle you know height your uh, mix uh, to dead volume ratio is said to be um, you know better although that was having the uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, peak was somewhat higher for one of the outlet but otherwise uh, if you look at the overall uh, calculation of the mean resistance time it was uh, larger in that case and, and the dead volume was smaller. So, that is why in this case uh, you get a better variation of the uh, you know the mean resistance time. So, you see that for the smaller and for the larger uh, uh, height it was small mean resistance time whereas, it was more for the medium height then uh, there can be a study on the shroud immersion as we discussed if you do the shroud immersion from the inlet. So, accordingly you will have you have to do the analysis every time you have to find the concentration and time and from there you have to calculate uh, these uh, you know uh, mixed to dead volume uh, uh, you know function of the shroud immersion uh, depth and uh, that is uh, for the uh, different positions you can have these uh, volume. So, that we what we see that what this should be the optimum shroud immersion that also can be computed with shroud immersion how the uh, you know velocity fields are changing. So, that can also be seen that uh, you know immersion depth uh, of uh, with no immersion this is how the flow uh, with a height of 210, but if you do the immersion then how the uh, uh, velocity field is changing. So, there are different velocity field which will be seen with these uh, different immersion depths and once you have immersion. So, it, it, it shows that how the uh, velocity is uh, uh, velocity field is seen changing uh, with the box. So, that can be uh, seen. So, what we uh, see ultimately that uh, when you do the uh, analysis uh, of fluid flow then uh, and you do the tracer dispersion analysis by that uh, you can have the uh, calculation of these uh, mixing parameters uh, different uh, you know volume components inside the tundis like plug mixed and dead zones inside the tundis which is showing the effectiveness of the tundis. Thank you very much. Music